Welcome Lord Angus students to the third constructing activity and in this activity we're going to use uh, CSS to decide the layout part two and so far you've just used uh, containers to have a top and a main area what if now we could then put containers within containers so we can have nice little um, a layout going on so we can have a, a top uh, a top title bar we can have a navigation bar down the side with a um, main area in the middle and that's possible so let's have a look going back to our previous page where we had our top box and we had our main and then we've assigned them down the bottom we want to now create two more areas we want to create two more styles so i'm going to copy the main and i'm going to just create copy these two mains um, let's change the first to container so the one that we created before will go from main to just container there we'll have the next one as main so it'll be 100 percent width 100 percent height which is fine and then we'll say left uh, we'll say left box and we'll say width 200 pixels height 100 percent and the background we'll have as yellow and then within the container this time i'm going to have two new two more um, containers, so sub-containers basically. So I'm going to put one there and another here and the first one will be left box and it's important to the order does matter here so um, so we go but left there, main and I'm going to say this, uh, so I'm going to say navigation, just right here, and this will be main. So I'm going to save that. So I've got two containers within this, this container. And then I will go back, open up styles. And what should happen now is we now have the left and the the main area now appears likewise i could put one on the right and this becomes a bit tricky because some people will change the order so I, i'm going to just copy the left oh something i forgot to do the left box if you look if you scroll down it then puts the main underneath um, you actually have to have another line of code here at the left. You have to put a line of code and you have to tell it it's going to float to the left of the uh, that main. So it's like floating on top. So we're going to say float and we're going to say left. So if I save that, what will happen is this now will this yellow navigation will then float next to this. So if I refresh, you'll now see it floating next to it. Okay, so it's on top of it, but it's essentially, but it's not covering any of the, the work. So that's an important line to remember. Again, I can then copy this again, and I can create one for right. right box and i can again do the same for right now this is where it all becomes a bit tricky most people do left main and right going in a logical order but you need to put the it going your floats floated ones first and then the main one after 
otherwise you won't see the right one. So if I put right here, and I'll just put right just to indicate that, save, refresh, and now that will appear on the other side, okay? If, though, I'd done it the other way, if I just cut that and paste, it won't do it. It'll put it underneath. So the order there does matter. Okay, very simple. And that's where you can then start modifying things and creating your own different um, layout for every single page. Thank you very much for watching Lord Angus students and look forward to seeing you in the next episode of this element.